Kichi. As of today, our partnership is dissolved. I don't want to work listening to you nagging anymore, so we're done. Nukiro, what are you saying all of a sudden? My name is Kichi Sekie, 26 years old. Ever since I was little, I always loved clothing. And when I was a student, I met Nukiro Nagashiro at my part-time job working for a clothing shop. From there, I started up an online business for selling clothes, and he and I run it together. It's a difficult generation for us to compete in the market like this, but we were somehow able to make a profit every month. But then, out of nowhere... Of course, I'm going to be taking all of the smart and useful employees and starting my own business. Thanks. It seems that he's going to be promising us a higher salary than we're earning now, so we're going to move with him. No way! Wait, please! What's going to happen to this company? That's not my business. I've always thought that you and I weren't a good match anyway. You hire weird employees, and you're annoying about not using business expenses. And yet in return, you only care about really pointless little details. You can't run a business if you're always playing weak and constantly protecting. Goodbye! Even though he was the one who begged me to become his business partner when he first started this company, and begged me to stay until the company earned a profit, and I worked this hard until now to grow this business while making sure that the employees could work and be happy here. What was I doing all of that for? It was all for nothing. Just like that, everybody's gone. Um, I believe in you as a CEO, sir. Miss Kaguya, you stayed behind. This woman was Miss Mizuki Kaguya, who recently joined the company. And she was speaking to me, the CEO, the only person left. That was three months ago, when I went to the unemployment office. It's really so difficult to hire people. Wait, what's that? Apparel industry, huh? Based on all the job listings now, a college degree is necessary. I'm sorry. But is there anything that can be done? I'll do anything. You've been coming here every day, and I know how passionate you are about finding a job. But that's one of the necessary requirements, so there's nothing I can do. I feel badly about it, but there's nowhere else besides this place that I can rely on. Um, this may be different from what you're looking for right now, but if you wouldn't mind our company, would you like to hear about it? What? Really? Yes, please! This was how I met Miss Kaguya, and I brought her back to the company and interviewed her. Nukiro took one look at her and immediately said she wouldn't be hired, but I stood my ground and hired her. Nothing good is going to come from hiring someone like that. Her appearances are bland, and she reeks of being a loser, and she's not my type. That's not true at all! I'm sure that she's definitely going to become the treasure of the company! She's somebody with that much passion! Well then, do what you want. But you better look after her. I'm not gonna lift a finger for her. In reality, Nukiro pretty much refused to acknowledge Miss Kaguya's presence, and continued on with his work. I tried to scold him about it a number of times, but in the end, he didn't seem like he was going to change at all. Mr. Sekine, if it's you, you're going to be fine. I know that you're definitely going to be able to rebuild this company. This is strange. But with Miss Kaguya rooting for me, I can feel myself getting more power. You're right. Why don't we try working hard again from scratch? Yes, I will do everything I can to support you. Our fresh start began with moving out of the previous office and into a new one. This is... <laughs> amazing. There are so many cobwebs and... I grew up in a poor family, so this is a lot more calming than the previous office. It's a little bit exciting, isn't it? You're strong, Miss Kaguya. Well then, why don't we start cleaning? Oh, there's so much... <coughs> I can't see in front of me! <coughs> This is worse than I expected. I guess I have no choice. I'm going to have to put on my best to take care of it. What? Alright, with this, I can move around as much as I want. I'm gonna make this place sparkling clean to every corner. What? That face? Is that you, Miss Mizuki? I didn't know she was this beautiful! Uh, please don't stare at me so much like that. 
Ever since I was little, people used to tease me for having such a flashy face. And so I was always embarrassed about showing my face in front of people. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So that's why you were always so shy normally. But if it's just the two of us, then I guess there's no need for me to hide it anymore. Oh, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that was unexpected. I never really thought of her like that until now, but suddenly, I just got nervous. Well then, I'm going to start cleaning seriously. Wow, you're good at this. But also, she's amazing. The company is in a really dangerous place, so I can't just stand by and be worried about silly things like this. And plus, when it comes to cleaning, that's something I can definitely do. It's not just her appearance, but she's moving like a completely different person too. With this, I think the two of us can succeed together. And just like that, Miss Kaguya and I slowly started to relaunch the company together. Good morning. You're already here. So early. Good morning. There were a lot of things that I wanted to study, so... Wait a minute. These clothing designs... Did you do these, Miss Kaguya? Oh, I'm still practicing. But please don't look at them. But no... You have a lot of talent. I've looked at a lot of clothing designs until now because of my work, but this is pretty amazing. Please stop it! Give those back to me! It's a waste for you to hide these. You should have a lot more people look at these, you know? I'll do that when I have more confidence. Please give those back to me, sir! This is pretty amazing! Stop being so mean! <laughs> sorry, sorry! I'm looking forward to more. Well then, why don't we have our business meeting? In the end, in order to not cause any trouble to our business partners, I had Nukiro's new company take all of the customers we previously had. However, since we were the only two employees, we weren't in a situation where we could be satisfied with our work. And so, I explained the current situation of our company and our current standing to Miss Kaguya. The sales and the profit. Oh, this is hard. Basically, it means that we're really in a pinch. Well then, we're really starting from scratch now! I'm getting fired up! Sir, there really is fire in your eyes. I also want to get fired up with you. Alright, I'm going to teach you everything from zero! I'd always been involved in every part of the business from the beginning, so I explained everything to Miss Kaguya, from building the website to relationships with other businesses, from the details of delivery, as well as organizing the administrative duties. Mr. Sakine, this is amazing! You can really do it all yourself! I feel like my brain's gonna explode just from listening to all of this. <laughs> it's important to know what everyone's duties are in the company. It's my style to do things little by little, so I've always been studying. But I am not useful at all. I'm sorry. What are you saying? The reason why I can work hard no matter what happens is because there's an employee who believes in me. We can take it one step at a time, as long as you learn all of this. Yes, I'm gonna do my best for you, Mr. Sekine. One, ten, one hundred, one thousand... Ah, this is bad! I placed an order, but I made a mistake on the number of zeros! Don't worry. If you contact them immediately, it should be fine. Oh no, I made a mistake on setting the prices, and I put the clothes on sale for point ten. Don't worry. If you fix it immediately, then there's no problem. They all sold out in an instant. <laughs> well, it would be good if they all leave reviews about how crazy cheap we are. Mr. Sekine, all I do is make mistakes and I'm completely useless. Don't you hate me? Of course not. Are you sure it's okay for me to stay here? I would be troubled if you weren't here, because I'd be left alone. Don't be afraid of mistakes, and just keep challenging yourself to the next thing. Thank you very much! You're right! I'm going to continue making mistakes with the orders and the input. It's important to challenge yourself, but you don't need to force yourself to make mistakes, okay? Wait, ah, this is bad! I had promised that I would reply to the email by yesterday! <laughs> it's hard to find employees that are able to keep trying, even at the things they're not good at. 
I knew that Miss Mizuki was a passionate, amazing person to hire. Then one day... I'm back! Don't push yourself too much by working too late every day, Miss Kaguya. I'm really clumsy, so it takes me a long time to memorize things. Alright, fine. Here, a little treat, even though it's not much. Thank you very much. Why don't you take a little break? Why is it that you were pleading so much to work in the apparel industry at the unemployment office? Actually, I've always dreamed of becoming a clothing designer, but my family was poor, so it was impossible for me to go to take any course or go to college. But I just didn't want to give up no matter what. I see. I had no idea. Why did you start your own company, Mr. Sekine? I was always the type who didn't have many friends, and I always thought it would be easier for me to be alone all the time. When I started working part-time with my colleagues and hanging out with people, I started enjoying myself. That's unexpected. I started the business out of momentum, and I learned the happiness of achieving a goal together. And that was when I realized I wanted to create a business where my teammates and my clients are happy. The one thing I have going for me is good luck. Thanks to that, I was able to meet you, and that's why I'm here now. I'm the one who's lucky. If it weren't for you, Miss Kaguya, I would probably be crying by myself right now. <laughs> that's a good point. I'm going to support you with everything that I can, so you can become a designer someday. Really? Well, in that case, I'm going to do everything that I can for the recovery of this company. For you! I'm counting on it, Vice President. I'm the Vice President. That's way too scary. Well, you're the Vice President, the Division Manager, the Assistant Manager, and the Employee, though. I can't carry all of that on my shoulders. I'm joking, I'm joking. You're always teasing me. By the time six months had passed, Miss Kaguya was completely accustomed to the work. Our sales from our own website, as well as e-commerce websites, were becoming steady, and we were starting to see the light for our company. All right, looks like we were able to make a profit this month as well. At this rate, I think I'll be able to give you a bonus pretty soon too. Sir, if you get too carried away, you're going to lose your footing. Looks like you can tell jokes now too. I'm sorry, but really I'm fine. Thanks. I swear I'll make you happy, Miss Kaguya. What? What do you mean, make me happy? What are you saying out of nowhere? Oh, uh, that's not what I meant. But, but you know, it's a CEO's job to make sure that the employees are happy, so, uh... Oh, that was confusing, but also a little bit disappointing. Oh, hello. Oh, dear. You were still doing a company? New Kiro. What are you doing here? I heard that you moved offices, so I came to have a look and check it out. I mean, this is a company where I used to work at after all. But also, thanks to you, things are going great for me. We used a famous marketing agency, and we're right in the middle of our business becoming huge! <laughs> if you want, do you want me to hire you? I refuse, especially since I have a brilliant employee. Wait, what? In such a dirty office like this, there's one beautiful rose blooming. Would you like to become my secretary? Absolutely not. Why don't I let you in on a little secret? It's only a matter of time for this company. When it collapses, please, do come to mine. Kichi, I've never liked your attitude of putting on an act like a wolf in sheep's clothing. I'm never going to give up. You better be ready for what's to come. As usual, he's a terrible, terrible person. What does he mean, be ready for what's to come? One week later, I noticed that all of the sales from my company website were completely gone! This is strange. Suddenly, all of the orders are gone, even though nothing like this has ever happened before. Sir, please look at this. The layout of this website, it's identical to ours! And plus, the products that they're selling are pretty much the same. And not only that, but the prices are pretty cheap. Could it be that this is... Without a doubt, it's Nukero. He purposely did all of this to try to destroy us. In order to try to fix it, I tried everything I could. However, in the end, it was all a useless effort. I don't know what to do. At this point, we're just playing games. As soon as I change the product, they immediately launch a similar one. And all of their price points are ridiculous. 
If we try to compete with prices, we would immediately result in losses. And at this rate, our company will collapse! Um... What's the matter? What if we make original products? Original? That's true. Because they wouldn't be able to sell the same thing or replicate the products. But if we try to plan from the design and then produce them, we don't have the money for that. Please, look at this! These... Did you draw all of these, Miss Kaguya? When I thought about what I could do for you, Mr. Sakine, this is all I could think of. Ever since I joined the company, I've been drawing and saving them. I'm not confident in them, but I don't want things to end like this. This is amazing! They're even better than what I saw before! I can't believe that you would be able to create designs this beautiful from self-study, Miss Kaguya! You must have worked really hard! Wait, so does that mean these designs? Of course! We're going to use them! We don't have much time, so let's have a meeting immediately! You're gonna have to keep up with me all day! Yes, thank you very much! From there, within the span of a month, we created clothing and accessories. And we launched a website featuring products from our new brand, Kaguya. And then immediately, Miss Kaguya's designs became a trending topic and continued to sell out. This is amazing! A famous influencer is wearing Kaguya clothing and a Kaguya bag! I can't believe it. I can't believe this is happening. This is the result of you continuing to challenge yourself, Miss Kaguya. Thank you so much for picking me up. If it weren't for you, I don't know what would have happened to me by now. Ever since I first met you, I've been so grateful to you. It was always strange to me why I spoke to you on that day. But now I understand. Ever since I first saw you, something struck me. What does that mean? Uh, how do I say this? Uh, well, uh, uh Miss Kaguya, I... Whoa! What's happening all of a sudden? I bet we're getting a lot of inquiries because of that social media post just now. What do we do? We can't handle all of this. This is beyond our expectations. Sir, it's about time we hire more people. With Nukiro's company, on the other hand, due to their reckless administrative organization and management of people, they were on the verge of collapsing. But I was always the one who was managing the foundation of the business, so this was an obvious result. Trying to force the fight with our company led them to shortening their lifespan even further. There's no way! This is all because of all of you employees! It's because you were so reckless as the CEO! Whoa, Nukiro? Is that you? Help me! Let's start over again together! All of the employees were gonna too! We're very sorry. Well then, what would you like to do, Miss Vice President? Huh? Vice President? The one employee that you ignored and refused to help, Miss Mizuki Kaguya, is currently our Vice President. Kaguya? What? This beautiful woman is that useless employee? There's no way that could be the case! As usual, looks like you judge people based on their appearance. No matter how big this company gets, I'm gonna make it a business that doesn't forget the kindness of people. And in this company, there's no place for people like you, who betrayed our CEO and yet changes your tune when you're in trouble. I feel the same way, Miss Vice President. I'll save your company, but you better think about what you've done and start over from scratch. No way! Come on, at least save me! I'll be your coffee boy! I'll do anything! Hey, sir! That's not fair if you only save yourself! Please, do something about us! <sighs> In the end, Nukiro and all of the other employees could no longer be at that company, and they all resigned. And especially for Nukiro, the rumors spread about the industry that he betrayed me, and nobody helped him. He became infamous for constantly wandering around the unemployment office every day. Damn it, why is this happening to me? Five years later, the company only continued to grow, and it became a major company with more than a hundred employees. And as for us... Sir, the new design proposal's finished, so please check it for us. Thank you. That reminds me. Looks like you're able to feel a lot more calm when you look like that. Whenever I have to see people other than you, yes. Thank you for accepting me no matter what I look like, Mr. Sakine. I just want you to live freely, Miss Kaguya. I'm happier than ever right now. Hey, I want you to spoil me at least when we're at home. I know that, but you're just so different from who you are in the office. 
Aw, you're blushing. You're so cute. So, which version do you like better, Kichi? Me at work or me in our private lives? Well, that's... That's... Both. I like both. Aw, I love you. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And don't forget to check out our other episodes, too. According to my calculations, you are about to like and subscribe to our videos. Thank you for watching! See you next time!